our next contestant, contestant number 11, Estelle Lau. Dual sim. Um, yeah, here. Dual sim. Estelle Lau. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Estelle, and today I'll be talking about dual sim. So, who here has heard of dual sim? Just raise your hand. Okay, not a lot, but it's okay. That's why I'm here. So, today you would know that Apple recently launched a new iPhone with this dual sim function. And I'm not a big Apple fan, but I do see why some people would be interested in this. It can increase convenience and cut the hassle for many. For example, if some have work phones and personal phones, they can just put it together at once and just use it on the same phone. Or if, say, I were to go vacation or just overseas and I need to use two numbers, but I just need one phone, isn't that so much more convenient? And then, while I was thinking about this, I suddenly thought, wouldn't it be cool if we, ourselves, as humans, homo sapiens, had this function, dual sim? So that sounds crazy, right? But it's OK, just stay with me. So somehow, we are a two-in-one person. Like, I have one body, and I'm just basically like everyone else. I get happy when things go right, and I get angry when things don't. I can get annoyed, and I can get troubled. But it's OK, because I have dual sim. And if I had a dual sim in me, that means that I could detach, reflect, and learn. So let's just say I get into an argument with my mother. Everyone can relate, right? All been through that. So I go to bed an unhappy child thinking, today was not a good day. But then at this moment, the sim number two in me can detach and think from a very rational and very neutral point. Then it will consider the factors like my feelings, the circumstances, my mother's point of view. And then it will come back to sim number one, which is what everyone sees, and tells me, Estelle, I think you are wrong. So this help me, helps me acknowledge my mistakes, my flaws, and grow from all these op opportunities and experiences. Then I'm not saying that we should turn bipolar. No, we shouldn't turn cold-hearted. It's just that it's really, really very hard for every one of us to think logically and from a neutral point of view when we're so troubled by our emotions and our worries. So this means that a lot of times, mistakes are made and unfortunately, regrets are formed. Dual sim enables me to go about my daily life and to learn from very, very everyday experiences to become a better person every day. It also helps me rest and relax. Just like those who use the dual sim function in the phone, they would be convenient if they went on a vacation. And if, say, I didn't want to leave Singapore, I didn't want to leave my daily life, but then again, I'm so troubled by my worries and the burdens and the duties that I have that I just want to blank out for a moment. But I can't do that, right? Because I have commitments. So what then do I do? I can just leave it to the sim number one that everyone sees to go about doing my own daily tasks and my job while my mind and my thoughts say in sim number two. Well then, you ask me, how exactly do we live this type of lifestyle, this type of function? You can't put two brains into one body, right? Just like how you put two cuts into a phone. Well, we can't put two brains into one body. That's definite, at least for now. But we can instill two habits into us that we can do every day. Simple. Reflection and strength. Firstly, reflection. After a tiring day, as we lay down on our bed, besides worrying about the monsters underneath, we can just think about interesting or curious experiences that happen throughout the day. And then we could think and reflect upon what we said, what we did, and what are the very thoughts that we had at that point of time. Then, there's three questions to ask yourself. Is it morally right? Was I considering everyone's interests and feelings at that point of time? And if I went back to that very second, what would have I done differently? They say you do what you do upon others, 
what you would like others to do upon to you. By reflecting, this helps us understand ourselves. What would we like others to do upon to us? And that's how we grow, and that's how we understand what should I do when I run into this type of situation again. Secondly is strength. Strengths help us to acknowledge our mistakes and helps us to decide on the case, like in the case I referred to, I should probably apologize to my mom. And if I woke up the next morning thinking that, let me just pretend that everything was all right, nothing happened last night, then that wouldn't be me being strong. But if I did apologize to my mom, that would help me grow as a person and as a child, because I grow strong. Every man dies, but not every man lives. By being able to reflect and to truly grow as a person, I believe that we'll be able to experience and enjoy life better. Instead of just going through the motions of living every day, let's truly live by reflecting and understanding ourselves. This speech was not in any way sponsored by Apple. Thank you.